Pisces. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day, time out of your life. My name is Christine. Welcome to another Pisces Love Tarot reading. Before we get into it, I would like to invite you to like today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. This helps so much more than you know to continue growing the channel so that I can bring you more readings. So thank you very much in advance for that. All the links are below the tarotcloset.com as well as newly launched Patreon where we are going live weekly with one question, three card pulls. I will link all the decks below. Of course, you can reach the playlist down there. They're all very easy to get to. All zodiac signs, messages from your person. If you are on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings down below. What is this? <laughs> Excuse me, guys. And of course, all readings are timeless and meant for you when you arrive, including today. So hello. It can be that the reading feels like a private reading. It can also be that there's really particular messages for you, but you're here for a reason. So let's get into it and see what that's for. Please remember this is a general tarot reading. Take what is for you and let the rest go. Energies, outcomes, they can. They will and they do change. The future is not fixed. Okay. Whoa. So we have the Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Pisces, this is your energy. This is Mars energy. And yeah, this is kind of, well, this is everything here. Got to show you this rainbow is telling us that there is somebody's hopeful. So are you heading toward the Ten of Cups? Is this something that you're wanting? Something that somebody else is wanting? I got to tell you, you're very clearly connected to someone here. You are really deep in emotionally, which isn't surprising. Beautiful Pisces with your beautiful emotions. This is also the divine so let's see what's going on. Is there a new cycle going on for you? Also coming down with it is the Six of Swords in reverse. So that's the interesting thing here because this is about some stagnancy, some issues moving. Can it be in this connection to the Ten of Cups? Back to the Ten of Cups if you were there. I want to show you this card. So you can see there's some darker clouds hanging on to a hope, a wish, a star with this anchor that's dangling down. It hasn't quite made it, but it's about to get lowered as you see in the Six of Swords in the upper right. This is somebody, this is a, this is movement. This is somebody possibly even moving on, moving literally from place to place. It's coming in reverse. So whoever is trying to, whether somebody's trying to move on from the connection or move toward the connection, it's not, it's a, yeah, it's a standstill. It's quiet. So this is very clearly a no contact and or in separation reading. Let's see. This is wanting to come down. It's the Ten of Swords, Pisces. Okay. So yeah, there is a new cycle here, and this is also the Ten of Swords. This is Gemini energy. So this is coming out of some painful emotions, painful feelings. Very clearly, these look like sewing needles poking around here on the head. And it can also be that somebody's been not really sure how they're feeling or what they're doing. We saw the Six of Swords in reverse. There's a stagnancy as far as whether it's moving on or moving toward. But that is changing, guys. This is a new cycle. The swords are transactional. They are getting clarity in relationships. And that can also be, yeah, coming in the way of communication. So let's see. These two are yours. It's the Seven of Cups in reverse. Interesting. Yeah, this is somebody getting clarity here. Wow. Okay. So it's very clear how this clarity was gotten. Look, the Empress is in where their energy is the strongest, also the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Well, Pisces, Pisces, this is, well, it's the Wheel of Fortune. It's the cycles of life. It's always turning. This is a faded connection. Somebody you were fated to meet, destined to meet. This is also telling us that there, there is a new start. 
You feel like you've known this person forever. Some of you may have. Let's see how, how this is going. This is a deep soulmate connection. It's somebody you feel like you've known forever. And again, some of you may have. This is most definitely a new cycle. This is some clarity restored. And I have to say, it can't even be for some of you that that's moving on. But it can also be moving toward each other. We did see the Six of Swords in reverse. And that is some stagnant energy from moving. We also saw the Ten of Cups, which is your card, Pisces. The connection between you and there still being some hope there. And we are seeing the Wheel of Fortune right below the Ten of Swords. So it's the the ending here of being, yeah, unclear. And we see that quite literally in the Seven of Cups. Who was or is in the Hermit card energy? I have a feeling it might also be your person. This is Virgo energy, and of course, it's also Mercury. It's the planet of the mind, and it's the planet of communication. This is a connection that has been, I feel, yeah, there has been some lack of clarity, lack of communication, possibly even when things were being communicated, may have been overly emotional and some arguments of that sort or something ensuing. But we see in the very first placement that that is, yeah, we're, you're coming out of that here. The Empress is here and where your person's energy is the strongest. If you watch my readings regularly, you know I call this the naughty corner. <laughs> and I say it in jest, it's in humor. Do you hear my throat chakra, guys? I feel like somebody really has, yeah, there's a lot to say here. There's a lot to say here. Before we keep continue, and I'm going to, yeah, get into everything, I want to say to you that Six of Swords in reverse is, yeah, it's not able to move. It's issues moving forward. That's Mercury in Aquarius, the Six of Swords, which we saw. And Mercury, of course, is the planet of the mind. It's the planet of communication. So not moving forward, it's, it's I feel like, conversations that need to be had. And we can see somebody... Is this you? Is it your person? Is somebody in? I feel like you're out. So it can be that your person is in there. Because here we go. Look, right here on the divine, the ships are the direction. There are some ascension going on here. Also some messengers. It's closest to where your person's energy is the heaviest. And the empress, this major arcana coming through. It's divine feminine energy. That does not mean if you are considering yourself in a connection divine masculine, divine feminine, or whatever. We have, we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energy. So there can be an overabundance. It can be balanced. Let's see. I feel like it's, there's an imbalance here, but I also feel like it's getting corrected. The Sempers energy is telling me that somebody is moving, is balancing things out and moving more into some divine feminine energy and becoming more emotionally available. Opening, opening up. This is somebody who I feel like wants to speak the truth. And this is coming in the partnership placement, guys. Things have been blocked. This throat chakra that I'm feeling, I feel like is the block that we've had. But we see that it's coming to an end here. And that the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. This is coming into your destiny. This can be about a new start. It can also be about some type of news coming here. I do feel that this person has maybe already left the Hermit card. If not, they're still there. But this is emotionally opening up in a different way. And we see that it's been stagnant. Has that been around the Ten of Cups? And for some of you possibly disconnecting that, that you had, or were you heading toward that? And what do I mean by that? It's a, it's the Ten of Cups. It's Pisces energy. It's all the emotions. It's all the love. It's the connection, the emotional connection, the friendship, the feeling of safety, the new beginnings, the hope. It's, yeah. And, you know, it can be about literally family, but family is going to be different for everybody. It's not just about, of course, you know, the traditional and the traditional sense of what family is. It's feeling at home with someone and wanting a future with them is what I want to say to you. And it was in the upright and I feel, didn't we see it a couple of times? Yeah. So I feel like that has been stagnant. That wasn't moving and it was tied around some emotions that's, that somebody was feeling. And I feel like that was your person who was not emotionally giving, who was holding back. 
And we see in the Empress energy that that is changing, that this person, this is a connection that it feels like a really long-term connection for me. It can be that you were heading there. It's what you're wanting. It's what you talked about. For some of you, it can be in chronological years or simply just that that's the feeling that you have with this person. But this is, yeah, it's connected to the fifth chakra and that's, that's being honest. That's opening up. And this is somebody also, Pisces, that I feel like you considered and consider not just a partner, a lover, connection, but a friend. This is somebody that you really emotionally connect with. And when you connect, it's very deep, which is why I feel this Ten of Swords here. And I'm happy that it's the end of that because that is a new cycle that's coming out of that. And you're ready. You're ready for this Wheel of Fortune to start turning again. Let's see what that means. Yeah, and there's the clarity here, and this is in the partnership placement. Okay, so I want to show you what's going on here. Whoo, guys, so there's the Ten of Cups again, Pisces, that's you. And this is the World card. So this is a recent, this is the person I feel like you're here for. This is another confirmation of soulmate energy. And by the way, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo coming in, a couple of times here in the Wheel of Fortune and also the World Card. And what do they have in common? They are fixed signs. They don't really like change. So it can be that somebody is holding on to something emotionally. Somebody doesn't want to change their ways. Somebody's having trouble communicating. That is what it feels like for me. Look at this beautiful card. I just want to show you. It's kind of, look, dangling here, holding on. Then there's this little tiny... Not really sure, actually, <laughs> what that is. But in any case, it's the world card. And this is coming to three. This is a divine number. This is divine timing. This is for sure another confirmation of soulmate energy. But it's also telling us that there have been some obstacles. This is connected to Saturn. And yeah, it's also connecting to... It's also telling us that somebody might be, was, or has been in some karmic lessons. Is that you? Is that your person? I feel like you're out of the hermit energy. And by the way, the seven of cups, this emotional energy of not being able to, what, commit, emotionally commit. I really feel like this is about somebody who was emotionally unavailable and scared possibly of this commitment or was getting scared, was already in it. And is coming in here in a really different vibe, ready to change everything. There will need to be paradigm shifts. I feel like the hangman is going to be coming down. And if it doesn't, whatever, because the energy is coming in. And that's a feeling of, yeah, a really deep emotional conversations needing to be had. Paradigm shifts, which is somebody doing something very differently. And what I feel that is, is somebody's emotions, somebody showing up, which I... It appears that it's been stagnant, but that it's going to be moving again. Let's see. But I do want to tell you, this can include some life-changing decisions, and that can include marriage. And we've seen the Ten of Cups, your card, Pisces, probably, is this the third or fourth time now? So let's see. We're seeing the Wheel of Fortune. It can be that somebody comes in here and is no longer afraid of this commitment. It's the Seven of Cups, and it's in reverse now. So this is somebody who has maybe been behaving maybe immature but the main thing is is I just feel like emotionally withholding not giving there wasn't a balance it's somebody who maybe you couldn't get to talk or wasn't responding and just wasn't sharing their feelings wasn't yeah wasn't on the same page but this is this person I feel like kind of restored senses realizing what you are to them I think they might still be in the hermit card energy or they might be coming out or recently haven't come out. Restoring their senses and what? Possibly coming here, yeah, with a really big offer. Okay, so these two are just kind of sliding around. It's the Justice card. This is the truth coming, look. And it's the Knight of Swords and the Hermit card energy. And it's in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Because this was literally your person emotionally withholding look you've been here thinking about it I feel like you're out 
and this is your person thinking about the behavior. Guys, this is super clear for me. This is Gemini and Mercury energies. Of course, it's the planet of the mind. It's the planet of communication. It's Gemini. It's the ruling planet. The, the chatty Kathy, I want to say, of the Zodiac. The thing about Mercury is uh, there's an energy of communication, of course, but the communication is writing and reading. So it's really interesting that this card sort of a play on that. You can see that there's like a message here, right is worth right is worth the cost. I cannot read all these little words here. But look, holding on to this fountain pen, cutting through, look. Bad decisions, clouded judgment, blocked intuition, blocked judgment. That's bringing in the high priestess, by the way, for me in reverse. That's cancer and energy. Indecision here. And just somebody simply look, cutting through that. It's the sword energy. It's transactional. It's clarity. We see that they've gotten clarity here. Here they did not. So it can be this person was trying to write. They were having trouble also just speaking. A communication, a lack of communication here is really, really big Pisces. And again, this is somebody who was having trouble with that. So it can be that they weren't writing you back. They weren't really sure how to say it. We're not communicating, whatever that means for you. It can really be in a message. So it can't even be that they were writing and unsending or not responding. But I'll tell you, they've been thinking a lot about it here. And this is coming in reverse. And it's connected with the major arcana, the hermit, which is, yeah, this person in this energy, which is Mercury energy too. It's the planet of the mind. It's the planet of communication, figuring out how to communicate, having trouble with that. This is the main thing here. Going in here is, is a good thing. This is going in to get clarity. This is for personal truth, spiritual illumination. Look at this, how they feel about you. This is clarity. This is senses restored. This is somebody who was in the hermit card energy, who has had an epiphany, who's had a realization. And the empress card that is, and this is coming down, look. It was hanging off the deck, so that's yours. This is coming with the truth, guys. This is coming with the truth, coming with the truth, justice, energy, rebalancing. Yeah, this person has an imbalance, divine feminine, masculine energies, but they are, it is, it's a new cycle. Things are balancing out. At the very least, there is a feeling of having gained some wisdom here and wanting to talk, finally. Whether this is in person or this isn't a message literally a message here look and this feather this is a connection to angels so this divine connection which we know this is a very deep soulmate connection if you're on a twin flame journey it's not super clear but it can be that that if you're resonating that you're here and we'll we'll get a little more clarity it's not a twin flame reading but it does come through in the justice card that it can also be for some of you either way look, it's here with the seven of cups, which is in reverse, which is getting clarity, which we see they've gotten in the hermit card and coming with the truth, emotionally opening up finally in this major arcana, the empress card, right next to the hermit card. And now the star card guys and the justice card. Justice is here to restore balance. Justice is here to get clarity. This is a sword energy. This is air. This is Libra. This is transactional clarity. This is somebody thinking about it. And it's holding the scales. And we know that. That is balancing things out. So this person has clarity about how they feel about you. And what they they couldn't say before, what they need to say here, the truth of how they feel. What does that mean? It's going to be different for everybody, of course. And exactly what, what you're doing is your free will. Everyone here has free will. This is what's coming through. I want to get some overall energy and I'm going to bring in a little bit more tarot just to kind of see if there's any messages that any validations or new insight and some oracle. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the overall energy for Pisces. Aho. The overall energy for Pisces person. Aho. These can be reversed. You're in each other's energy anyway. 
Okay, interesting. So <laughs> in your energy is coming the Page of Cups in reverse, and in their energy is coming the Knight of Cups in the upright, which is the Princess, Prince Charming, emo emotional, excuse me, that throat chakra. It's interesting that that is it's just how readings go, guys. That has been really strong from the very get-go in your reading, and that's literally what is happening here. It's somebody unblocking their... They're activating their throat chakra, getting ready, I feel, to whether it's upright this and get that message out or response or simply communicating but opening up emotionally to you, starting a whole new cycle, what you're doing. The Page of Cups here is coming in reverse. This is more emotional energy. Pisces, and you're here. Everybody, this is, <laughs> yeah, and this is really just showing me that you're separated. This is a no contact reading. We know that. And you might have had this feeling for a while that I don't want to say dependence on this person, but you've been really caught up in the emotional side of things. And I do feel like this is also for you here in the Seven of Cups in reverse, gaining clarity. Because whether you're still in the Hermit card energy or you're coming out of it, you're also here in the partnership placement in this major arcana. And this is an 11. This also comes to a 2. So we know this is about the two of you, this partnership, the duality. This is about the balance. This is also about a new beginning. Look, it's catty corner here with the Ten of Swords. A beginning with clarity. A beginning with communication. And is this person coming with an offer? Yeah. I feel like it's to talk. It can be pretty huge. Okay, we saw the world card and that can sometimes be marriage. And we see the, the Wheel of Fortune here. We know that this is a really deep emotional connection, but this person hasn't been available. I mean, are they going to come in here and just kind of out of the blue say, yeah, let's get married? It's not a strong feeling for me, but, you know, that can be the case. It's not always that this comes down and that's what it means, you know. But a because a proposal can be a lot of things. I feel like it's coming in the way of communication. It can be in person. It can also be in a, a letter. Um, look at the Empress also in the star card here. Look at all your, your major arcanas here, right below the Empress, where they're wanting to be honest with you, where this is a person you've either felt like you've known for a long time or you have. Okay, kind of this long-term energy. It's this pentacle energy for me, despite the fact that we just don't even see really any pentacles here today. But it's the star card, guys, and this is Aquarius energy. This is coming to an eight. This is, yeah, it's, a, it's an action. It's taking action here. The hope is here, which we saw in the Ten of Cups a lot. The hope of connection, the renewal, the love, the outcome, the new beginning together, the Pisces energy. We saw it several times. And where did we see that star? Yeah, we saw it also in something else. There it is to look in the Seven of Cups. This was somebody who wasn't sure or at least wasn't behaving in that way, was indecisive and not making decisions, wasn't being clear with you, wasn't even clear with themselves. It's the opposite now. So there's that star. There is that star. And there is that star. And then I feel like that is the, the illumination and the clarity in this connection. Are you feeling like it's kind of a miracle? Because that can come through <laughs> with the star energy, and it can be that you weren't expecting this. Look at the star card and the hermit card. These, you guys, going in and getting the clarity, and here, and this is getting the clarity. This is going in to get the clarity, and this is having it. So here's the star. It's kind of removed. It's on a fishing hook. Interesting, isn't that? And sitting here on the world, which we saw the world card, the soulmate energy, all the obstacles rising way above and saying, okay, I need to figure this out. I need to figure both of you, your person, the energies are aligned in some ways, but I feel like you, you might be a step ahead here or just in a, a little bit different vibration, if that makes sense. But yeah, this is holding that star kind of far away, getting high above, getting the perspective, which is... Strange because I really thought we would see the hangman. I might just get another deck just to see because I do feel that, yeah, this indecisiveness that was going on, the period of uncertainty. But then again, it's kind of coming out of that energy here because the star that was dangling, looking at it, trying to figure it out, 
coming up here and yeah, trying to get some clarity. We can see has been had here. So yeah, this person I feel like knows about their lack of communication or emotional offering here. And it can't even be that it, that it came or didn't come in the way of a message. This is super clear. But this is also somebody who is opening up now, guys. The hope and the renewal. I mean, it's, it's the star card. And this is also that feeling that you're pulled toward each other. And there has been a really, it's how long has your cooling off period been? It might've been a while that it, that has been going on in this connection, but I feel like this is a, yeah, this is your person kind of coming back into your stratosphere here. It's, it's really everywhere. You might have just been about ready to kind of close the book, I want to say, on this person feeling like they're, they're not emotionally available, they were immature. I do feel that that was going on here. And it, I mean, it can be that they come back and it's no different, but it feels really different to me. Okay, I want to bring in some another deck. I want to see if there's just any insight or just something that wants to come in, and then we're going to get some oracle. Be interesting to see if the hangman comes down after all. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the Carter cards. In regard to Pisces, aho. Okay, yeah. So it's the chariot card, guys. This is Cancer and Energy. This is another major arcana, and this is in regard to this connection. It's this feeling of controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. There's so many major arcanas here. I kind of feel like this is spinning. Why? Because this is about, well, this yin-yang energy, the balance here, the truth, the lack of emotional clarity, the lack of emotional giving. It's all here. I do feel it's being rebalanced. This particular horse is... You know, a strong horse filled with humility, some apology, apologetic energy, also wanting to push through obstacles, kind of looking a little bit shy here. You both have the obstacles here. This tells us that, but this in the upright, as things are moving, moving forward, we do see the change here, the rebalancing going on. But this is kind of spinning for me because it has been stagnant. There have been some issues here. And it can be, I'm feeling for some of you, you might be really considering a different direction. That's not going to be for everyone because I still feel your energy here, guys, kind of waiting on your person because you have a lot of emotions with this person. There's a lot tied into this connection, but this is a spinner for me. So it can't even be that that's some of you looking away here saying, yeah, I've just been waiting. I'm not really sure. But this is also another major arcana and things are moving. Sorry about that with the camera. It's a spinner for me. So it is kind of like a, a hot and cold start and stop feeling that may have been going on and may even continue. I, I can't really be sure of that, but it does feel like a spinner, but it also feels like things are moving again. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it here kind of sideways this is also coming through oh yeah it's the two of cups this is cancer and energy venus energy as well it's the planet of love you guys yeah so there is a a deep love between you and it's more water energy gosh you guys there's so much more soulmate energy for some of you this is a confirmation also of twin flame energy very deep emotions energetically emotionally connected though this person disconnected i feel like energetically you're still connected and yeah this can be about proposals and it can't even include marriage here so is somebody coming in with that maybe I mean maybe but for me it feels like the proposal is yeah opening up here and coming with the truth about how they feel and why possibly they didn't write or respond or have been cut off emotionally this is also coming and yeah okay so i'm going to show you these are slipping and sliding today it's the ace of water in reverse don't worry about that cancer and pisces you're here and scorpio it's really energy for me just showing me that this has been depressing and disappointing because of the lack of movement 
And we saw the Ten of Cups so many times, so that did get affected. And I feel like it's all around the commitment to it, the Ten of Cups, the emotion. Somebody just pulling back, not communicating, not giving emotionally. And this is the disappointment in that. And look, I feel you here, big time. And the Page of Cups in reverse as well, just disappointed with it. So what you're going to do and what decision you're going to make, I mean, that's your free will and everyone's going to have their own path here with the chariot card, which direction are you moving? Because this is a decision. And this person is in this energy too. So it's, are you deciding it together to move forward or move away? But we do see that it's been really disappointing. This is being, being let down, being depressed about it. Somebody that just left the connection. I do feel they're coming in here with some type of offer. And again, it can just be a message or wanting to talk, but emotionally opening up in a different way. Okay, you guys, I'm going to bring in a little bit of Oracle and some messages from the higher self. Then we're going to close your reading, Pisces. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card of cards as it may be. Okay. I want to show you this. It's another spinner for me. It's the Bloom card. Somebody looks a little bit disappointed. That's not surprising. There's been a wait. There's been some lack of clarity, some possibly some immaturity coming through, some emotional withholding, not responding, that sort of thing. It's it's kind of like it's really interesting to me. This is not this is also coming down. And so is this. And then we're going to stop here. We'll look at these in just a moment. It's almost like some weird universe. It's almost like the page of, or excuse me, the hangman energy for me. It's kind of this period of uncertainty and decisive, just kind of hanging back. Time will tell. You've just been waiting on your person here. I feel for this justice card energy. There's like a disappointment here. There's perspective. There's a little bit of the Nine of Cups energy too with the arm cross, just with this deadpan look of, yeah, look how beautiful I am. Just the beauty in, in this particular energy, you know, it's kind of like beautiful and just waiting. There's a lot growing, arms crossed. It's like sitting on the bench of the Nine of Cups, which is a Pisces energy. Jupiter and Pisces, it's the wish fulfillment card. That's what you've been waiting for. And it's been disappointing. Yeah, it's like that Nine of Cups energy. So are you saying, you know, yeah, this is also for me knowing your worth. So if you are feeling like, yeah, I'm going to decide I'm, I'm going on. There's love here a lot. And there's an emotional investment. I see that. But everybody's going to have their own decision. And five is about change also. And five is coming out of conflict. And five is also about the truth. So this is what you're ready for. And the, the color as well, connecting us to love. This is what you're ready to hear. And what you're going to do is going to be, yeah, your free will, of course. Abracadabra, it's coming in reverse. So yeah, is this going to be as above, so below? This is like the magician energy, Gemini, Virgo coming through connecting us to Mercury, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. This connects for me. It's kind of like I was talking about with the star energy, this sort of miracle feeling like, are they going to change and come and open up here? And this is sort of that disappointment of you waiting. And is this going to be, yeah, alchemized? Is this going to change? Turning visions into reality. Are they taking inspired action? I mean, this is a big card, you know, it's connected to the divine. Here, look, all the constellations, we see the star here, we see here, look, the star here, look, that's the other thing. It's when they were here in the Seven of Cups in the upright, choices and commitment issues, which it's reversed now. So I do feel like that has changed. And you're also there too. Some of you are making these decisions for yourself. Yeah. But this is that same energy because this is before. This was before the Seven of Cups was in reverse. This is when they were still not being clear. And it can still be going on right now and that they haven't quite come yet. And you're just deciding what it is you're going to do either way. Look, this is coming down. It's a new cycle. It's gaining knowledge. Elephants push through obstacles. They're also Taurus energy, interestingly enough. And they connect to... 
yeah, they connected to family. Very strong connection to family here. And this is an upright trunk, guys. That is good luck. We do see the Wheel of Fortune here. So is that going to mean something you're doing? If you're deciding to move on, or is that going to be this abracadabra getting uprighted that you've been waiting for? That's the thing. I feel them coming here with the truth of how they feel with emotions, okay? Can be coming through in a message. The, this is the seven. It's coming to a seven. So it's, yeah, more of that energy of this person assessing it and controlling what you can and letting go of what you can. And I think that you're in that energy. And Pisces energy too. This is a dreamy state as well. Look, here are all the stars again illuminated here and here. And here, they're kind of everywhere here. Yeah, so guardian of the night, the owls, the wisdom. They can see through the dark when we can't. And, and they're here in combination with the elephant, which can push through the obstacles. So they're the eyes. This is the strength here. This is a new cycle. Is this new cycle with your person, Pisces, or is this something you're doing? I feel like this is going to get upright. You've been waiting for it. It's been disappointing we see that. This person has some kind of an offer. It's emotional. You can't even be just talking about it. But there is a new cycle. And if you're not out of the Ten of Swords, you're coming out. If you need to go back into that Hermit card energy, get in there. It's not a bad place to be. This emotional decision tied to this person. It's And it can be together. And it can be that this proposal isn't just a message or a conversation. It can be quite big. Either way, this is seeing through. This is coming out of the dark and coming into the light and pushing through here. What a great combination. It makes three. It's that divine number. It's teamwork. It's growth. It's communication. It's divine timing. Let's bring in some messages from their higher self. What do you want to say to your Pisces? Yeah, we have a deep soul connection. First card coming down. I wish I could see you in person. It makes me sad when I read our messages of happier times. Yeah, that's the thoughts I feel like in the Hermit card energy with this. Yeah, it's the Knight of Swords. Quite literally a fountain pen in messages, which is connected, as we know, to Mercury. It hurts my heart that we can't be together. Whoa, so this just tried to go down. Did you notice I sent a message? I <laughs> just tried to hide this. Yeah, we talked about that, and I do feel like that might have been the case for some of you. Because that's the night. This is, a, I keep calling it the king. Sorry, it's the knight of swords. It's the knight of swords in reverse. And yeah, this is very much that energy here, guys. Very much that energy. And it can be that they wrote something not so nice wrote something not so nice, didn't respond, wrote something, removed it, maybe you saw it, maybe it wasn't so nice. Conversations, messages, things maybe being said that shouldn't have been said, things that were not said, not responding, responding harshly. What you see online is a lie, I am not okay. Thinking of you brings me peace. This is the two of cups here, guys. I want to put this here. Okay. It's going to get another deck. You are adorable. <laughs> Look, you have your arms crossed. By the way, you know, we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energies. So please remember, there is no gender here at all. Okay. I just feel the energy of the nine of cups sitting on the bench <laughs> energy of you here waiting the time that has elapsed and what this person has said and not said what has gone on in this connection no matter where i go i always find my way back to you and these are the last three you are now part of my life and i will never let you go my love for you will never change if nothing lasts forever, can I be your nothing? So what is going on in this cup, in this offer, in this two of cups? And yeah, I feel like it's an emotional, yeah, it's somebody emotionally admitting truth. It's emotional truth for me, guys. It's clarity, which they've received big time. 
Pisces. Let's bring in a little bit of... I wanted to bring in song messages today. I will do that next week because I need to... I feel like I need to close the reading now, you guys. You are my biggest wish. That's the Nine of Cups energy that I felt. And it was this frustration. It's also the Ace of Water, the Ace of Cups in reverse, the disappointment. It's sort of like you are my, you were my. What's, it's this frustration. My heart is yours. Put that with the Two of Cups. We can't really see it anymore. Come back. Yeah, if you are, if you're channeling this chariot energy and going, it can be that they're seeing something online here too, guys. I'm sending a message, okay. Yeah, the uprighting this, it almost turned around with it. It can be that they're feeling some energy or they're seeing or hearing something. You had me at hello. I wish you were mine. I feel your energy, that's the two of cups. Yeah, and we were just talking about this. They're picking up on something here and yeah, they're out of the Hermit energy, guys. It's really clear in this reading. Pisces. Pisces, that is your reading today. Thank you very much for giving me your time, spending time here with me. I really appreciate it a lot. If you enjoyed today's reading, please like the reading. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the Tarot Closet. This really helps us grow here so that I can continue bringing you readings. And make sure you have your notifications on because I will be going live regularly. I've just been trying to sort out a lot of technical stuff for a while. And your readings are every five to eight days now about, you know, within a week time frame. And yeah, they might be coming even more than that once I'm going live. So make sure you have your notifications on. Thank you again very much. Take care of yourself. It's always my honor to channel for you. And I'll see you at another reading. Bye, Pisces.